So I, I want to see where she takes it. I don't know. I know that the gun is pointed at Winona Earp and Doc Holliday. I know that Melanie Scorfano is the star of the show, so I feel like the bullet's not going that way. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, a, I'm nervous. Um, you know, if, if we go, I'm nervous to see where what's going to happen. But at the same time, I'm, I can't wait to see what Emily does, honestly. You don't really think they're going to kill your character off? I hope. Let's not even put that in the universe. Um, well, I'm already dead. <laughs> kind of. So I have that going for me. There's the, uh, you know, I am kind of supposed to have been dead 135 years ago. So I'm, I'm feeling good. And Emily's killed me before. Let's be honest. She's killed me a couple of times. Let's look at it this way, though. Doc's, Doc's basically kind of immortal, right? We don't know the extent of his exactly. immortality. And, yeah. Let's say if you did get shot in this, we don't know how that's going to affect. You could have just, you know, just go... Who knows? And Lisa, she's, she's smarter really, than me and Tim put together. Okay, Nicole is smart enough to wear a vest. Why is Doc wearing a vest? <laughs> like I said, I don't think we know the extent of what... Uh, he's also not the sharpest tool. He got, it's 135 years in that well. The and man's we, petrified we, of a selfie and or a Snapchat. it would contrast with your outfit anyway. Exactly. Doc, Doc's, Doc's a little stylish. He's not going to be yeah, we got. I got it the first day. So this is, I'm erped out. <laughs> I got all of my erper swag that everybody gave me, and I said I'm gonna wear it because everybody's been too good not to. How can I not? I'm not joking. I'm a fan. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm one of the erpers. Did that reaction to the show surprise you? The so many people got so excited about it so quickly. I mean, yes and no because. I loved it so much from day one, you just, you want it to be, you know, like, how can everybody else not like this? Like, I'm just so biased to say, this is the best thing ever. How can everybody not think this is amazing, you know? And so, but then at the same time, you're like, when it starts happening, like, oh my God, like, people are liking it, people are into it, so it's, it's an amazing thing. So, we lost, of course, a major villain in the first season, I mean, Bobo, I don't know how you feel that she had shoes, but now I'm kind of... I would. I don't want to mess with Waverly. I wouldn't. Uh, there's no. What's the thing? No held like a woman yeah. scorned. I and mean, then trust me, I believe it. I don't want to mess with any of you. I don't want to mess with anybody. Um, no, I don't want to see evil Waverly. I've seen her shoot a shotgun in real life and on the show. <laughs> She's badass. Mary Poppins with a gun. <laughs> I would actually, I'd like to see um, maybe a, a, a crossover from where Bo's from the book and maybe get Mars Del Rey. Or, you know, let's get, you know, there's a lot of other... We've got a lot of characters. 20 years of history, so there's a lot of different villains. Bobo Del Rey was a character I created in the first series. And in that, I also killed him off, but also gave him a younger brother in Mars Del Rey who is a little different and so that's a possibility we've got a lot of different characters that Emily can, can draw from on that and she's she's just done an amazing job with the, the comics that have come before in the background and has just moved it forward everything forward what I've always dreamed of is she's taking it to the next level she's taking it to a worldwide level and so many more people reading comics that didn't and used to have or have never read comics. At the same time, all these people are watching the TV show that never would watch a supernatural western or something like that. And it's, you know, every day I'm doing the touchdown thing, going win win every day. You know, it's just, ah, oh, it's the best. And I've got, you know, the Earth family uh, to thank, and Emily, I will always be in her debt. Of course. Yeah, of course. You know, kissing Melanie, someone's got to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I love the relationship, but it's so, this show is, is so well written and so well cast that honestly, I mean, I can't speak for other people, only myself, but I had so much fun playing with everybody, and all the relationships are different, and in their own ways, like, give me as many Waverly doc scenes as you want, give me as many dolls like when we finally got to work together, it was so fun me and Shamir because we that stuff that when comedy started coming out. You know what I mean? And Mel and I, from day one, it was just it was super fun. And I had my Michael Eckman, my Bobo stuff. It, like you name it, every all the relationships were different and fun and interesting. So I'm just down for all of it. How does it feel? Uh, how does it feel when you first?
first saw who was going to be playing your characters and who was going to bring them to life? Again, they, they involved us from, de from day one. We saw all the dailies, all the auditions. We got to see Tim's audition, Melanie's. Everything. And I've got to be honest with you. My wife and I were pretty good about this one, this one, and this. We had it down for Tim. I've got to be honest with you. Tim seriously was the one. Melanie again was the one. And when I saw uh, Dominique, I just uh, there's a sister relationship. They had her and Melanie both doing uh, interaction tour. There was no other choice right there. Shamir was different because I pictured him as some tall, wavy, Italian looking guy, this, that, the other. Kind of like a taller Tim in a way. But when I saw Shamir out there and this stoic attitude that he put forth, I said, this, this, this could be the guy. This could be the guy. And it's just, it, the passing was Lisa. Lisa Kaiser. She's amazing. I looked her up after all, doing all those things. I thought, she's so dead on in all the shows she's passed. I said, she's done it again here. And she just uh, could not be happy. And through the years, I've always picked out people, fans would ask me, who would you like to see play Wine on Earth? And I had all kinds picked out. And some of them I stuck with. But then this came out, she's going to be this, that. Because I always written, I had written 35 to 40. So now we're looking at 27, and it's a whole new ball game. And I was just sit back, and it's Christmas time. Uh, that's the only way I can think of this Friday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>